If there is one thing that zoologists and conservationists know more than anyone else, it's how life on this planet is intimately connected all around the globe. It follows, therefore, that the people at the forefront of this work, the keepers and veterinarians working in zoos around the world, are likewise connected closely so they can share what they learn about the animals in their care. And that's why the release of Zims is such an important evolutionary step in information management for zoos and aquariums. Zims is the first ever unified global database on animal health and management in the world. The fact that all this information is now integrated into one program for the first time ever means that all levels of zoo staff uh, can uh, access all the information in real time and make the best decisions ever uh, for the animals and programs we look after. Although zoos and aquariums educate around 600 million visitors each year, there is another immensely significant aspect of their work. They form the world's gene bank. A computer database system like ZIMS is one of the essential backroom tools for the conservation management work that we do. It's not glamorous, it's not exciting, it's very much to do with sophisticated computer work, but it's as vital as any of the frontline field conservation work that's happening because we have to have the genetic management and the health management right for the insurance populations of endangered species that we're looking after. And unfortunately, the way things are going out in the big wide world, some species are only surviving and only going to survive in zoos and aquariums. We've got to keep them in being to put them back out in the wild when we get to put the world straight. Mm -hmm.